The iPhone 8 leaks just keep on coming and we've got some fresh new leaks to discuss in today's video. What's up YouTube? This is Saf from Super Saf TV and let's start off with one of the biggest leaks this week and that is the dimensions. So we now have the exact sizes of the new iPhone. We've already discussed before that it's going to have a 5.8 inch OLED display and the reaction that I get from a lot of people when I say that the new iPhone is going to have a 5.8 inch display is like that's way too big for a smartphone. The iPhone 7 Plus already has a 5.5 inch display and that's already quite big. This is going to be even bigger than that. Well, that's not exactly the case. The new iPhone is going to have very small bezels. So we're looking at around about an 83% screen to body ratio, which is similar to what we've got on the new Galaxy S8. And these new leak sizes actually give us a really good idea of how this new iPhone is going to compare to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. It's going to be a little bit larger than the 7. You're looking at around about 5.3 millimeters more in height, around 3.8 millimeters in terms of the width, and just about 0.5 millimeters thicker. So not much thicker at all. Now, this is a little bit bigger compared to the iPhone 7, but considering the fact that you're going to be getting a 5.8 inch display compared to the 4.7 that's on the 7 right now, then this is pretty impressive. And in comparison to the iPhone 7 Plus, you're actually getting a much smaller device, but with a larger display. What do you guys think of this screen size? I'm definitely for it. I think this is the way forward. And we've already seen the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the LG G6, which adopt this minimal bezel size. Now, the next leak is actually a video. This is the first video that we've seen of an iPhone 8. So this is an iPhone 8 model. Now, we've already covered the iPhone 8 model in a previous video based on the images. So there wasn't really too much new information on here, which is why I didn't do a specific video for it. And the video is very short. It just shows an iPhone 8 model that's being spun around and this has a stainless steel frame with the glass panels on the front and back which we've discussed before and there is also the virtual camera placement now these dummy models usually leak earlier because they're based on information that's been given to case manufacturers and this is why we've got these sizes as well and case manufacturers have to prepare cases for the launch so they need these months in advance and in this process is usually where we get these leaks and we find out more information about the devices. And speaking of cases, we've also had some case leaks. So there's some images as well as a video which show a case that is supposedly for the iPhone 8. And this case is slightly larger than the iPhone 7. So placing the iPhone 7 in this case has a little bit of space, which once again confirms the sizes of the new iPhone. So it's going to be slightly larger compared to the iPhone 7. Now, the good news here is there is no cutout at the back. So this would indicate that we will hopefully, hopefully still be getting the fingerprint scanner embedded within the display. We've also had some leaks of more dummies, but these actually seem fake because they have a full metal design with the fingerprint scanner in the back. They may be based on earlier prototypes and things, but we know that the new iPhone is going to have a metal frame with glass panels and that is to allow wireless charging. Now, the final leaks that we have are around the date. So the keynote and the release date. So there is a blackout period that's being talked about. This is something that happens at Apple when there is a new device that's going to be launched. This is basically a period when employees can't take any time off and it's all systems go. And the dates that have come out from this are the 17th of September for the keynote and the 25th of September for the release. Now, most experts have written this leak off because the 17th is a Sunday and the 25th is a Monday, which are very unlikely days for Apple to have a keynote on a release, especially the release is usually on a Friday. So we should be looking at around the 22nd of September for the release, but it could be that the special iPhone, so the iPhone 8 or whatever, may be a little bit later. This is still unclear. So that might mean that we're going to get the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus initially, and then we might have the iPhone 8 a little bit later. This is going to be more clear as time goes on. So guys, that is a summary of the latest leaks and rumors of the iPhone 8. What do you guys think? I think we're getting a better picture now and it's uh, definitely giving us a better idea of especially what it's going to look like. For the display and things, I think it's looking very positive. Let me know what you guys think as well in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch your notifications. There's plenty of content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Safar on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.